Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. Now in this video, we will see how we can update the existing record. So for that, we will go here and let's enable these update and delete button. So for that, I'll just copy one of the button that is already created here. So let me just paste it and make it so let me delete for now <coughs> this is a button and we can say it is update now type of button and trigger the same model only the thing we have to add here is on click so on on click what we will do here we can pass basically data whenever we will click on the uh, this particular button we have to pass e event to this this dot uh, we can say get book we will fetch single book not get all book but get book and in this get book we will pass first parameter e second parameter is book dot id so currently we are already getting this book dot id we have to pass this book dot id here in this parameter book dot id now since this method is not available so we have to add first we have to register this method and then we can work on this so i'll write this dot get book equal to this dot get book dot bind and here we'll pass this after that we have to write code for this so i'll write here get book and we'll pass e and then id these two parameters we will get from the uh, component and then i'll just copy one of the method of get so i can let's say i'll just copy it and we'll paste it inside get the only thing is we have to go here in swagger and check the parameter for get book so here in this case we have add books and then slash id that means we have to use slash id so that we can get the details so here we have books and then i can write here plus id slash id so whatever id we will get we can just append it here then it will send the request and then after that once we will get the response in the form of result we have to store it in single book and in this single book we have name name equal to result zero dot name so we will get in the form of array so we have to get uh, data from result zero so result zero dot id these two field these two data we will get and then we can add it in single book let's save it after saving now once we will click on add get uh, once we will click on update it will call the same method and then here you can see we are just calling the same model window that we have already exist when we are adding the new new record and then it will automatically populate the data in this field so let's see we can click get books now let's say if i click on update it should show here mongodb book once we will click there it should show mongodb book so let's see what what is the issue here now so here we have this dot state dot single book let me just copy the name and once we will go here we have also single book result and in this result we have single book name okay so instead of name we have to write title since from db we are getting title from the api we are getting title click books and then if i click on java books you can see java books is showing here if I click test 2, it will show test 2. 
let's say csr programming mongodb now the thing what we have to do next is let's say if i update anything and we'll save it then it should invoke so if i do right now it will make one more entry let's say if i update let's say i can say a mongodb program click save so now if i'll refresh it again you can see mongodb programming added again instead of update it added one more row this happened because here we have not added anything related to update in this particular save changes we have handle add book so somehow what we have to do what we can do we can create one more button and we can enable this maybe we can toggle that and based on that we have to call this call the method so uh, this way we can basically update it so in the next video we will see how we can update how we can call put method in this particular button